Herzlich willkommen bei Planet Hollywood Radio, powered by Metal Wine, hier von der Frankfurter Musikmesse. Und heute haben wir Gäste aus dem hohen Norden da. Der Pair von Sabaton ist in the house. Pair, welcome. Good day. You look a bit tired. Did you party last night? <laughs> do I, yeah, do I look that tired? I'm, I'm oh, just sorry. a bit, just a bit. Okay, but, but I'm very like energetic, but um, and I got a lot of spirit. But we, we had a hard party yesterday, yes. Where have you been? Uh, we, we were actually not that difficult an Indian restaurant and then followed by hotel bar but that was all in a way that you need <laughs> That's it. and the good thing is even in the morning we've got just uh, 12 o'clock in the morning you're just about to drink uh, a little bit champagne we have the Doro Hero champagne here did you have a taste already yes uh, it, it's it's nice and it's like I mean what I fell for I mean hero that's that's the name and it's the name of heroes is uh, the name of our new album so I, I was like okay I have to try it <laughs> What a great coincidence. Uh, tell me about the new album. I had a chance to listen to it uh, once uh, at a uh, listening session and I really was impressed about the new album. You did, you know, it's not that long ago that you released your last album, Carodos Rex, and there was also a live album afterwards. And now you come back with such a strong album. In between, you were touring a lot. So how do you manage this all together? Well, I mean, we, we work with this all the time. So we have to work very hard. But I mean, it was a lot of pressure on us. Because Carolus Rex was like a, it was a milestone in Sabaton history. It it grew Sabaton to a different level, and uh, uh, it was also production-wise the best one we have ever done. And now we were facing a challenge to beat that, and we were facing the challenge that we actually have four new band members, which is a huge thing. And uh, in case there would be something with a new album that wasn't great our new bandmates would take the blame for it. And people would say, okay, it was better before. Change back <laughs> or whatever. But now I, I'm so proud, I'm so happy because now we can say that it worked great and the new album sounds like a Sabaton album, but very fresh. And uh, we worked very hard to select all the songs from, we, we scrapped, we threw away so many songs just to make sure that every song has a definite meaning on the album. And I, I think we definitely succeeded. We and as always, the lyrics on a Sabaton album, they are oh, it's always about love and relation and girls, or? <laughs> yeah, sure. No, I mean, the, the lyrics on this one was something that Sabaton should have done a long time ago, actually. Uh, in 2010, we, uh, we did uh, the Coat of Arms album. And we asked our fans to send in ideas to what should we write about? I mean, we need historical influences. Please send us in. And we got a lot of ideas, maybe 10,000 or something. And uh, since then we got 10,000 more. And I saved a lot of them, and uh, all of them actually. And uh, uh, in, well, when we had just written the Coat of Arms album, we were, uh, we, we were reading the story about Vitold Pileci. And uh, this is the song later on the new album, which is Inmate 4859. And that story, we, me and Joachim were sitting like, we have to write about this, definitely. But we can't do it on this album because Coat of Arms is already done. And the next album is going to be Carolus Rex. So the next album we're going to write about it. So what do we call so it? So it's a long time plan. Yeah, four, hour, uh, four years. So we decided that, okay, the album after Carolus Rex will be Heroes. And this is the, the, like the, what we had in mind, the story we, which became the song 4859, the inmate. And uh, we had it in mind all the time for four years. And now we have made it. So I, I think this idea grew over the years. What I really find impressive, you guys are so busy, but also doing, you know, a lot of Sabaton related stuff around. You have your own cruise. You just showed me pictures of your own bus. You have your own festival in Falun. You're doing extensively touring festival all in between. So there's actually no spare time for you. Well, I mean, we don't really need spare time because we are doing from when we wake up to when we go to bed. We do exactly what we want. So uh, it's like, what do you do in your spare time? Normal people, normal people. I'm normal too, in a different way. <laughs> But most people, they they come home and they have a holiday or something, and they do they do like, okay, it's my spare time. I go fishing, I go skiing or whatever. Well, what do you think I love most in the world? That's the band. So. If I would have spare time, I would spend it with the band. <laughs> and you do a, such a strict branding with the band. I don't know so many rock and roll bands who do it so extreme as you are doing. And uh, you just 
also told me about things because we have a similar kind of uh, clothing taste, I know. <laughs> and uh, so you're also a fan, fan of Affliction. Yeah, we're building a, a Affliction clothes line for Sabaton. So it's uh, with kid shirts, t-shirts, hoodies, girlies and stuff. Yeah. How did you get in touch with the brand? This, with this brand? Uh, well, we were just shopping in their store and they were like, oh, okay, you guys in a band? Yeah, okay. And then that was it. <laughs> and then it got me started yeah. talking. It was something I wanted. I think this clothing brand is also really much rock and roll. It's my, one of the most rock and roll fashion companies in the world, and I also enjoyed it. And I was also happy that they provided me with some stuff here for this uh, fa fair. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see some uh, Sabaton fashion also later this summer. You're just going on, you know, just about the trip in Frankfurt here, and then you're going to an extensive US North American tour. Well, uh, we're just here in Frankfurt, and then we continue because we are on uh, like a three week. Uh, promotion tour across Europe. We're promoting the new album, doing interviews, TV shows and radios. I mean, so we're gonna be around for yeah, two weeks more or something. And uh, then we just go home and change clothes and then we go to America for five weeks to do a tour. And that's a pre-tour before the album is released. So it's to promote the upcoming release. The new album will be out in May. And then you come back to Europe in summer for some festivals? Yeah, of course. And then and then it goes on. <laughs> then it starts. I mean, the wheel just started to spinning. And we're going to be on the road for uh, at least two years now. We got the next two years planned. I'm looking forward to see you back in summer after US tour. And uh, of course, looking forward to see your fashion brand as well. And yeah. good luck with your album. I'm really happy that you can, could make it to come here to our little radio station on the Musik Messe. You got a look here at also at your guitar company, uh, bass company sponsors? Yeah, I mean... Uh, my um, sponsor here is ESP, so I'm here and I'm talking with them and likely we're gonna get out, uh, maybe this year or next year, we're gonna get out a uh, signature model. That's great, so enjoy and uh, let's have a drink! Cheers. <laughs>